Hi everybody. Good morning. Uh, again, my name is Damas Mpepo from the United Republic of Tanzania. I have come with my friends, my colleagues, and I have got my uh, leaders from the uh, from the Ministry of Minerals and Resources and other ministries. I'm sure I will call upon them to come and greet afterwards. So a summary of what I'm going to present is as follows. Uh, I have the introduction of my presentation, which is very short. Uh, a brief explanation about the country Tanzania, as far as area, population, language, and I have uh, third part about the Makonde drum, which I'm going to present, uh, Mtoji. Mtoji is the drum which is very important among the people in Tanzania. Next, I'll be presenting about the, how the drum is made, what are the materials used to make it, um, steps, how to make the instrument, and then I'll come to the point of talking on uh, uses of the instrument, and at last, we'll be performing the dance itself using that traditional drum. So, uh, Tanzania is a country which is found in East Africa. In East Africa, and it is, its area is about 88.6 million hectares. This is the land area. And 94 million hectares, that is uh, the... the, the it's the, the, the area which is land and water. So a total of the Tanzanian area is 94, 94 million hectares. Uh, the population in Tanzania, the Tanzania has about 45 million people. 45 million people in the country. And when we talk of Tanzania, let us think of the the United Republic of Tanzania, whereby two parts of the country, of the two countries were united to make the United Republic of Tanzania. And that makes the Zanzibar, which consists of several uh, islands, but the two main islands are known as Unguja, and the other one is Pemba. So the two islands make Zanzibar, and the other side, there is an area which was known as Tanganyika. So Tanganyika plus Zanzibar, we made Tanzania. So the United Republic of Tanzania. Yeah, there are two islands known as Unguja and Pemba. They make Zanzibar. And the mainland is Tanganyika. So that is the United Republic of Tanzania. As the other countries or other nations do, also Tanzania has several cultural practices cultural practices. This includes music. And music is a very main uh, aspect in culture, which might unite people, may unite people, may bring people into peace, may solve problems, may pray, you can pray to your God, to whoever you believe. That's music, and it is one aspect of culture. Now I'm going to straight to the instrument. That's where we are focusing much more in this event. The wooden drum organology. The drum I'm going to talk about is called Mtoji. Mtoji. Most of the ethnic uh, groups in Tanzania use that traditional drum. And it is the instrument, which is a very old instrument, among the people in southern part of Tanzania. This includes the regions like Mtwara region, there is Lindi region, and another region is the southern part of coastal region. So the, these are the main areas where this instrument is much more even made, uh, used, and handed over to other generations. The materials used to make that drum, as you can see, we have two types of trees which are used to make such a drum, either one or the other one. 
Now, the process. First of all, you need to think of the size of the drum you want to make. The size of the drum, length and all the same. And then you go to the, you look for the tree, which are available in, the, uh, in that area. The tree is portable. You can carry it going anywhere. So you cut your tree musically and culturally. When you make, uh, you cut for the instrument, that is no problem. But if you go or think of the environmental degradation or deforestation or afforestation, then cutting a tree is a criminal, it's only offense. But when you come to music, that is legal. You need to make it to do it so that you can have an instrument. So after cutting your tree at a, 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 large, a certain length and width and size, then you carve it to make a hole in between. You remove the inner part of the, the tree so that that in between the tree should be a hole whereby the air will be passing through. So after curving in there, there's no need of smoothening it, it looks nicer, no, there's no need, but you need to make it as the wall to be as thick as about one to one and a half inches of the, the whole diameter. And then after curving, you need to come out with uh, shaping the tree. You remove the, the, the outer part of the tree, that is the, uh, the bark, you take it out and then shape the, the drum so that it can look nicer. So after finishing shaping it, then you need to look for the, the same tree. You have a big uh, part of the tree, but we have the small parts, the branches. So you look for the sticks, which will also be used in making that drum. We call them pegs. They are pegs. You insert the, the like, like nails. So the pegs are fro from the tree. You don't use the, the iron nails, no. Use the pegs from the tree to make the drum. So we don't use iron nails, no. but from the tree you get the nails which are known as pegs, pegs. So after preparing your pegs, and now you look for the, the membrane. This is an animal skin, a cow skin. So you, you, took, you take the cow skin and cut it according to the requirements, because the sizes may be different, of the, or the whiteness of the, the top part of the drum may be different. So you cut according to the area, and then you make this like a belt, like a belt to hold the, the skin on the, on, the, on the frame. You also need to have uh, a piece of, uh, of uh, an animal skin, which will be first put inside, like this one you can see here. This is an animal skin, and this is protecting the drum from whenever it drops down then, the skin will be tightening it, not to, 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 to break. So that's where the, all the materials are now prepared. Now you need to make the drum to link the facilities, all the materials, so that it can stand up. So the next step now, you need to take, if the animal skin is dry, you need to put it into water for at least 12 hours. So after 12 hours, then you take out from the water and cut that round of the skin you need and then make the holes, make the holes whereby the pegs will be put in or fixed in. After that, now you take the, your, 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 your animal skin, put on top of this, the frame. This is now a, a, a drum frame. You put on it and then start putting the, uh, putting the skin on the frame using those pegs, one after another, one after another. And when you reach somewhere there, you need some help. You need some help so that, you know, there, there is a force between you and someone there. So, and then, so the, the helper will help you to, 
to let it down on the other side and put because when you put the pegs on here the skin here might be like like somewhere here so you need to squeeze in it and to let it down there so that you can get the sound what you need otherwise you will never get the sound what you need so after finishing the work, putting the, the first uh, membrane then you take that uh, this one you put on on the, 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 the already uh, made drum so that you are protecting this skin not to get out from the from where it was fixed yeah so up to that point the drum will be brought under the sun you put it under the sun not straight to the fire or somewhere but under the sun so that all the wet things or the, the water should be evaporated from the from the drum now the drum not from the skin from the drum so that after that may take even a whole day just keep it under the sun yeah and that is where you are now pleased with that the my my drum now is in order and why do we may use this tree this tree you know we have put a uh, cave to the, the tree that piece of flower because we want the resonance it works like a resonator for the sound for instance you can hear the sound and now so that's the aim we want the that part inner part of the tree to be removed so that the resonance of the sound should be effectively and as is required so so after all this that the drum is fixed now it's sounding nicely additionally to add uh, a low pitch of the drum some people add rubber on top here a burnt rubber and then they put on top here just like a, a circle like so that the pitch when you keep you you play like this then you will feel that the, the strongness and the low pitches which is bass enough will be heard from there and now the drum is made so after making our drum now i'm going to the uses of the drum how is it used the drum is used in several several activities including uh, ceremonies like the initiation ceremony for young boys and young girls when they go to the ceremony uh, or to the to the to the scene of event like I can say and even when they come back from the area where the initiation process took uh, uh, took place so there is a big celebration celebrating that our young boys and girls have got have learned how to behave a blend how to tolerate from hardness and hardship so parents friends and neighbor neighbors come to the house where the place where the celebration or the ceremony will be taking place celebrate eat drink dance because of that big uh, a very crucial event for the guys to get into uh, a grown up age it is also used in the ceremony like in ritual ceremonies for instance uh, when the country or the area is drought lack of rain see so if you lack rain then food will not be available so the old people there are people specific people go to a certain tree or under a tree and pray to the ancestors the drum accompanies them to make that process musical harmonious and to present their prayers to their ancestors nowadays not only nowadays but years recent years the drum have as being like transformed the uses because even the 
the, and our popular activities or popular ceremonies, like the government activities or popular political celebrations, the same drum is being applied to the, the same dances, to the, to the public activities. For instance, the Independence Day, in Tanzania we have Union Day, so that drum is also being used under such activities. Also, religiously, when uh, th there is a marriage or there is a, yeah, <laughs> I can see David talking about that, <laughs> or a marriage or even the communion, the Christians getting out with their children, uh, the confirmation like, so the same drum is being used, people are celebrating using the same drum. So now the drum is a mat is a mat purposely used by the people in Tanzania. Yeah. So, in short, the Tanzanians, most of the people in Tanzania, they have this drum. This type of drum has got diff different uh, uh, way of making it. Not only making, but the way it looks like. Others. Others have made this drum without uh, this part. These are Makonde people, the Makonde from the southern part of Tanzania. But there are some people who are making the drum of the same size ending here. This is taken out. And there are some people who are making the drum of not this size, much bigger, but longer, taller than that. And it doesn't have this neck. And even others make the drum of the of this look, but it like it's like the the, the carving or shaping of the tree is not that much done like this. But it is like going outward there and immediately cut from the same drum, looking for the, a certain sound which will come out from the instrument. And the next thing we are going to perform the dance which is called Masewe, uh, performed by Makonde people.